Welcome back to John Bachman. Now, one of the biggest stories of the year has been Bidenflation, with some economists saying that we could see Jimmy Carter territory in 2022. The supply chain crisis also may not resolve until 2023, and fear over Omicron could throw an even bigger wrench into an economic mess. It's time for this week's money huddle. It's more like a money muddle, but uh, we've got financial analyst Brent Wilsey, he's also the president of Wilsey Asset Management and business and markets analyst and Newsmax contributor Seth Denson. Good to see you guys. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Good to see you. Brent, let, let's start with you. Um, once again, I think it's important to point out government kind of created this mess with too much direct assistance. That's the fault of both parties. The Fed is now changing its tune on that kind of spending. What does the Biden administration need to do to turn this around as we move into 2022? Well, fortunately, we've seen that the Build Back Better plan has been not approved. I hope that stays that way because that would make things really bad. What we need to do, I know that M1, M2 is probably well over $21 trillion. That money needs to be absorbed in the economy. It's going to take time to do that. I'd say it'd probably take 2022 to do that. But what we also have to do is I think we have 100 containers still off the L.A. coast here. Um, we got to start spending money on those products when they come in. Uh, but the problem, too, we, we have a lot of people that are not working to unload the trucks, to drive the trucks. And this is the problem. We've got a lot of demand because people aren't working, are consuming more. And we have a problem of getting the goods to people. So we need to get through that. And it's not going to be a quick term. Fix, I'd say hopefully by summertime we'll be in a better situation. Seth, uh, to, to Brent's point, the, the price of Christmas gifts up 5.7 percent. It's an average number. Uh, and But consumer consumers are spending money. Uh, so do you think that consumer spending at some point is going to start pulling back? I mean, everybody's been on kind of the sugar high. Um, there's a lot of money flowing around. But do you think that that momentum ultimately pulls back and then that sort of readjusts the, econo- the, 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 the picture that we're seeing here? Tom, that's a great point. It certainly will so long as we don't get this inflation under control because that's where those dollars are going to ultimately go. And while consumer spending is up, we don't know how much of that is actually attributable to the higher price of goods. You mentioned the the average, but if you look at things like car prices, that's up 30 percent. Coffee's up 108 percent. So if if you're going to Starbucks and some of these other places, now you're really spending almost a mortgage payment to get there. So I I really do think that, um, you know, the question you asked earlier what could the Biden administration do? Well, the problem is, and Brent made a good point, be patient now because the things that they should have done, they should have done a year ago. They didn't do them. Uh, and so now we're, we're going to be left with this longer period that it's going to take a while for this to kind of level out. I'm glad to see that the Fed is changing tune on its monetary policy, but all of these things will take time to kind of play out in the economy. Brent, uh, to Seth's point about, you know, the amount of money that's been plowed into this economy over the last year, one of the things that the president, even though Build Back Better seems to be on life support, one of the things the president is, is really pushing on is extending that child tax credit. And those are payments, and it's a big number, and direct payments to, uh, to, to families with children. Does that ultimately compound this problem where you're saying, well, we're not going to give enhanced unemployment to people anymore. We're not going to give a lot of these direct these direct checks anymore. But the size of that tax credit, while it may sound like a good thing, could that actually compound the problem here? It really does. And I, I feel bad as president does not understand the simple concept of too much money chasing too few goods is causing inflation. And when I saw that child credit again, like he just keeps trying and trying to put more money in this economy, which is going to cause more inflation and extend that time frame. So I I don't think he knows very much. I hate to say this about a president. I don't think he knows very much about the economy or how economics works. And it's terrible because he's going to destroy destroy our economy if he keeps going the direction he's going. Seth, real quick, I've got about a minute for you here. Uh, It wasn't surprising this week, given Biden's numbers are down 50 percent with younger voters, that the president kind of kicked the can down the road again on student loan payments with with another pause. I happen to think this is a disservice to borrowers and terrible policy. Your thoughts on that move? 
No, I, I couldn't agree more. And it, it actually, it, it's it's painful to those that actually have worked through their student loan debt. Listen, there are certainly those that had to leave school for certain reasons. Maybe college wasn't for them. That we need to think about how do we solve for their their college debt. But just kicking this can down the road doesn't solve the problem. We need to reform the way we need to get government out of college uh, it, completely. They've been a big part of the reason that college tuition is so expensive. So there's a lot of reforms that need to happen right. there. But forgiving or extending loot student loan debt, that's not the solution. All right. I want to thank you, Brett, Brett Wilsey and Seth Denson. Uh, Seth, I think I'm probably going to see you on Sunday. Thank you for your, for your insights, guys. Merry Christmas to you. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas to you as well.